how is cosmic trying to position itself like what what is cosmic trying to be and i guess more importantly what is tr uh, cosmic tr not trying to be uh, okay well uh, maybe um, right now during the early alpha it's hard to tell because you know as you said you're you're very open to adding a lot of new things so maybe that that vision isn't fully formed yet uh it's it's pretty simple um why we're building cosmic and what we want it to be so um it's cosmic is it stands for computer operating system main interface components so it's a collection of components to build a user experience mm -hmm. cosmic is intended to be a platform to build user experiences mm -hmm. pop os just happens to be one target mm -hmm. that's it it uh, it's a um it's a response to our customers needs and the things that we've identified um uh, tiling is a great example because we just had uh, before we did the, our initial tiling work in as an extension in GNOME, GNOME uh, there were just a huge number of people that requested or were using tiling or were using i3 on pop um, and uh, so we were able we, it was pretty easy to determine that we, we just weren't building a product that our customers needed uh, so then we got in uh, you know when we made the decision to build cosmic it wasn't um what we wanted to build was the ability for anybody to create a user experience. We knew that System76 and PopOS users are uh, a unique customer base that has uh, unique needs. Um, the uh, where known targets their users. Um, I think they have uh, you know identified who th they want to build GNOME for, and mm -hmm. they build their features and the, the feature set for for that user. Um, but you can't also use GNOME really to build that experience for our customers. Right. Or there's so much friction that it's just not worth it. I have added a uh, hundred <clears throat> extensions into GNOME. You can do some weird <laughs> things to it. You shouldn't. And it's not very happy about running like this. <laughs> but yeah, something the, built like uh, this from the start, you know, is obviously going to give you something right. a lot uh, nicer to work with if your goal is customization. Uh, right, it's uh, it's not meant for for that mm -hmm. end, um, but we felt that there were a lot more people, not just us, that could make use of a platform built uh, for that intent purpose. Mm -hmm. So, um, whether it's um, I mean, you can build a Chrome OS experience if you just want to build something really really simple um, that is um, you know targeted towards. Um, uh, very you know casual use without a lot of bells and whistles um, cosmic can be put together in a way that delivers precisely that experience mm -hmm. um, or you could do something as you know elaborate as what we're trying to build for our users or you can do something in the middle um, the, the way that it's architected I think is uh, its intent is to enable this incredibly creative uh, capable, amazing open source community to experiment with different devices, with different experiences, with different ways of using uh, of using a desktop um, and just give a platform for people to, to mm -hmm. explore and, and create. Mm -hmm. Well, going to the flip side of that, like what is what is Cosmic not trying to like is you've, you've obviously got this goal of having this desktop that you can build around certain experiences, but is there anything that Cosmic is explicitly not trying to venture into that is sort of outside what this desktop really makes sense to do? I guess it's a... I haven't really thought about limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've, I've really started... I don't I typically start there. So um, I, mean, I can tell you where we're not going, where, where I don't think we'll be in the, at the first release. Mm -hmm. um, I don't expect to support... Um, touch devices very well in the right. first release. Um, I definitely don't expect a experience on a phone to be incredible, um, even though I've already seen people running Cosmic on, on phones, it's mm -hmm. exciting. Um, I th Cosmic isn't built for things that don't have screens. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> sure, sure, I'll give you that one. <laughs> No, but I think I what really... you made about mobile makes sense, though. Like, that's that's a whole nother additional desktop project on top of what you're doing. Like, obviously, a lot of things can be reused, but 
designing interfaces that make sense on a mobile device is a very different kind of design. And also the whole touch stuff. Like, if you're going to do touch, then you need to start worrying about, like, on-screen keyboards. You need to design touch into, like, interaction. It, it, isn't there, like, basic, like, gesture support right now? So there's at least, there's at least that, or am I mistaken? Uh, there is um, gesture support. There's some touch support. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, one of our developers has been working on a, um, like, Microsoft Surface at the lead. <clears throat> and so he's done some work to make um, touch work. But our, you know, our engineering team doesn't have a bunch of touch devices. Our QA team doesn't right. touch devices. We're just not targeting and putting a lot of effort there. As far as responsiveness down to a mobile device, um, we've been thinking about that since the early design prototypes because um, while well, we think about it for tiling mm -hmm. because we know we want any application to work in that size of a, a window, mm -hmm. it also means that it actually does work quite well or it can work quite well on a, on a phone. But the things you would change are like uh, you would, you know, perhaps you would have you would have different applets. Essentially, you would you'd probably still have a top bar, or maybe you would put it somewhere else. That's the whole point is getting to experiment with this stuff. Um, but then you would build a different set of applets for that use case. You wouldn't try to retrofit what you know the applets for a desktop into into a, a, a mobile experience, because then you're just getting I think the lowest common denominator for both. Right. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely been some thought about it at least. So it's 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 something that you guys would be interested in exploring, like post release. I'm guessing. Uh, I would. We'll work on touch after the first release. Okay. We'll, um, and whether that's um, you know laptops or um, or tablets or different kind of devices, we'll want to improve the experience there. Eventually, Citizen Center Six will have touch laptops. <laughs> and so we want to build a great experience in Cosmic for you know, those hardware products that we're going to be developing. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun, you know, getting, you know, when we start exploring, you know, new har hardware and form factors and, and, um, and perfecting Cosmic for those. Mm -hmm.